Hello, everybody. I hope that you can see me. I am trying once again to make this software work. So we're going to do a little test today at the beginning. Let's see. Okay, I can see myself. Hopefully you guys can see me. Okay, good. I'm going to set that down and look over here. Welcome to Facebook Friday. Hopefully you guys have had a great week. It has been a crazy week. Has it not? All of my United States friends, yeah, <sighs> I'm ready for this week to be over. I'm ready for all of it to be over. Okay, good. So you guys are there. I can see you. You can see me. So we're going to do a little test before we get started, okay? We're going to test the quality. Last week, our Facebook Friday quality was terrible, and I could not do anything afterwards to make it better. So this week, we're going to do a little test before we get started, and if it's crappy, then I'm going to turn it off and just do it the old-fashioned way, okay? All right, so you guys, you can see me, right? I'm going to switch down to the projects, and I want you to tell me, yay, you can see it, it's good, or mm, it's glitchy, it's not clear. You guys tell me, okay? All right, let's switch it and see. Now, there's a delay, so I have to watch and see. There's about an 8, 10 second delay. Hey, everybody, it's so good to see you. I am so excited for today's projects. All right, let's see. So it's a different background, as you guys saw behind me. I'm over in the corner of my office today trying to make this work. Wow, it's a pretty long delay. I'm still waiting to see if you guys can see. Hmm, okay, it's switching now. Man, that is a long delay. Okay, so it looks like now you guys can see my hands, right? All right, how does it look compared to last week? Those of you that were here, how does it look? Is it clear? Oh, Alyssa, she says it looks much better than last week. Nathan, hi Nathan, says it looks very clear. Patricia, good. Okay, are we gonna go for it? <laughs> I, this just makes me so nervous. Okay, let me move this over here so I can see your comments and I'm gonna switch you back over. Um, So, let's see if I can do this. And now I'm over here. <laughs> It's like the newscasters. They don't know what camera to look at. Um, so if you weren't here last week, I'm trying a new software that switches the camera angle. And it was a hot mess last week. And so it makes me super nervous. And I don't want to waste an hour of my time and your time with a super blurry video like we had last week. Luckily, everything is, I've already recorded everything in clean recordings that are already up on YouTube. So if, if things go sideways here, <laughs> we can always go watch those. Okay, um, let's see. So where am I going to start? Today's Facebook Friday. Today we are going to do three projects with this new um, variety bundle. Is that what they're calling it? Variety bundle of products from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to talk to you about that in a little while. But um, I just wanted you to know that's the theme for this week. But before we get to that, I've got a lot of reminders for you, okay? Um, first off, let's see. I think I'll switch you down since I can do it. Let's see, and then let's see if I can add myself in. Hold on, let's see if it'll let me do it. We want a remote device, we want that one. The only problem is that, oh, now it's, it's hesitating. How does it look? Has it glitched out, you guys? Let me know. All right, well, anyways, I don't know. We're gonna go ahead. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. So distracting. All right, so here's the quite curvy. We're gonna do that in a minute, but I've got a lot of things to tell you. I don't know why that's not working. I wanna be able to do picture in picture. All right, so my daughter's getting ready to come in the door. Let's see if the dogs go crazy. Anyhow, we've got a new, brand new all-star tutorial bundle every um, month myself and 11 other um, demonstrators. Oh, I see, okay, I did the wrong camera. Um, we all get together and we make um, a um, tutorial bundle. There it is. I got the right one now. I gotta click allow, and there we can see it. Um, we make a tutorial bundle that is um, twelve tutorials, all based on one. That's really big. There. Is it getting smaller for you guys? <laughs> this is crazy. 
Um, okay, we make a tutorial bundle together, all 12 of us. All of us, we're all over the world. Some of us are in the United States, UK, South Pacific, and we pick one suite. This month, we picked the Forever Greenery, Greenery Suite, which is from the annual catalog, and we all came up with a product, a project using that suite. And so every one of these has a video tutorial. Um, they have links to the videos. It has all the measurements in Imperial and Metric. And they all use the same products, the Forever Greenery um, bundle. So we start, we celebrated with a blog hop yesterday. You can do that blog hop and you'll see even more projects. There'll be 12 more projects in the blog hop as well as this. Now this PDF, you can get it for free um, if you spend uh, $50 with me online and I mail that to you. I do those about once a week, usually on Friday afternoons. Um, I send that to you for free as a thank you. You can also buy it in my PDF store for just $15. Um, and if you're on my team, you get it for free over on our on our team webpage. So it's available. The PDF is $15. Um, and let's see what else do I need to tell you about that. Here's my project this month. It's a cute little 3D. I did some watercolor leaves. I, in my video, I show you exactly how to, to make those. Um, and then for my blog hop, here is the matching card, all right? So if you're interested in that, um, hopefully up at the top of this video, the link's posted, and there's a link there. Oh, did I add that link? I think maybe I forgot. I'll add it in if I didn't. But at the bottom of today's blog post, there is all the information about this as well, if you're interested, okay? All right, next I need to tell you about the uh, Club Create for this month. Club Create is my once a month um, stamp club. And this month is the poinsettia petals. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do four cards and one 3D. And the deadline to sign up for that is tomorrow, the seventh. So if you want to join in this month for poinsettia petals, make sure you do it um, by tomorrow. There will be a link here on the video as well as the top of my blog. It is a subscription service. Um, you can subscribe for one month and cancel if this is all you want, or you can stick around and after six months get twenty five dollars in free product. It's kind of a cool deal. So um, anyways, that's what we're doing this month. All Christmas, all poinsettias. Um, and tomorrow, hard deadline tomorrow. Okay, guys? Thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. We had our um, yearly award celebration last night online. Um, and uh, thank you, those of you who are wishing me congratulations. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Okay, so now the classes to go. I have to a, a little secret to tell you. I've actually have already cut both of these kits, um, and I'm fingers crossed, hoping I can get them out earlier than I said. Um, it's really a big undertaking to do both of these kits and the retreat to go, and so I didn't want to give a a deadline that I didn't think I could get. That I, you know. I usually try to get all this out the Friday before Thanksgiving. So you have like a week to get there and then you can work on it over the Thanksgiving weekend. But I was really worried about getting that done this year. So I said I would mail it the week of Thanksgiving. But fingers crossed, I'm going to try to get these out beforehand, okay? So I've already cut um, a ton of these kits. I will just have to order the products and they will ship um, pretty close after the deadline, the sign-up deadline, all right? So there's two two classes, the warm and toasty card class. You get two each of these, um, each of these cards. They all feature the warm and toasty stamp set and the paper that we're gonna use today. Here's the paper. Um, this is the new paper. It's um, not in a catalog. You won't find it in a catalog. It is um, online only. Um, so you'll get a whole pack of that. You'll have enough to make a ton of cards and the two ribbons, all right? So option one includes a stamp set. Option two does not include the stamp set. Option three is PDF only, if you just want the PDF. And option four is for my downline. And I lost my little sticky note that had all the, price, the prices of each one on there, but you can click on the PDF, today's PDF and the bottom of my blog. It'll take you over there and give you all the details. Now these ship priority mail for $8, flat rate shipping. Um, and I can ship both of these classes together if you want both of them. That way you only pay shipping once. I like when, when we can do that. Okay, next class is my 3D Christmas class. It features the In the Pines stamp set. Love this stamp set and the dies. We're actually using the dies today 
for Facebook Friday as well. Um, but these are three D treat projects. So if you like to give out little treats and stuff, that's what these are, six different treats. You get a quarter pack of designer series paper and a bolt of ribbon and a pack of rhinestones. Option one is with the bundle. Option two is without the bundle. Option three is PDF only, and option four is for my downline. They get it at cost. Um, so if you want both of these, they ship together for just $8, or they ship by themselves for $8, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know where my little post-it notes are. You know, I have a little note that I always stick in here with all the deadline and all that, but um, I had it all spread out this week because I was cutting and sorting, and so I've lost post-it notes. Um, but it's on my blog, so click on the, there's a tab. No, there's a link at the bottom of today's post. You'll find it and it'll give you all those details, okay? And if you wanna be in on the first shipment of these, make sure you sign up soon. Um, because what I'll do is I'll, once I get all the kits done, I'll ship out whoever has already purchased. Um, and then I will wait until the after the deadline and I'll cut more if I need to and then ship all the rest later um, by that original deadline. Okay, so that's that. Let's see, where am I gonna put all of my junk? I wish you guys could see, today I have like 15 boxes arrive on the porch. All the stuff for retreats, for Club Create, for those classes, I mean, there's a ton, ton of stuff, and now it's everywhere. <laughs> my office is only about, oh, I don't know, 12 feet by 12 feet, it's not really big. And so when I get a ton of boxes and I have to sort all that stuff, it's crazy in here. Okay, a few more things. Adhesive kits. I still have some of these left if you want one. Um, it comes in this cute little pink buckaroo bag, and it has a uh, stamp and seal, um, adhesive sheets, dimensionals, uh, Tombow, glue dots, oh, and foam adhesive sheets and regular adhesive sheets. All right, so there's a link on my well, on the top of this video, it should be there already. If not, it'll be there when I'm done. Um, and they are ready to ship. They're already done. They're ready to go. So if you want one of those, I know people have been buying them for Christmas presents for their friends and family. I've got, I've got um, some left. I've got a pretty good number left of those. Okay, let's see. Last thing I want to tell you, and then we will start talking about today's projects. Um, the gingerbread uh, paper pumpkin. The paper pumpkin kit that ships this month, November, is a gingerbread kit, okay? Um, it's gonna have, let me make sure I give you the, the exact um, specifics, I don't wanna tell you wrong information. Includes enough supplies to create 15 gingerbread themed gift card carriers and envelopes. So 15 gift card holders and envelopes. Um, there's always alternate projects to go with these if you don't wanna do whatever it specifies. I've also seen um, on Facebook, on the Paper Pumpkin Facebook page, they made a gingerbread house out of the boxes that they come in. I think you actually need two boxes to make the gingerbread house. It's amazing. So if you love Christmas and you love gingerbread, you're not going to want to miss this kit. You can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. I've listed that link here on the video. Um, or I order some. I always have more than I need. And if you would like one of those, email me and I'll put you on the list. Um, they will not come here until probably around the 20th. I get them a lot later than everybody else, it seems, and then I will ship them out. Um, to subscribe, to get it to come to your house first, you have to do that by the 10th, which is Tuesday, all right? It's going to be so cute. There's a little commercial, the little video that Stampin' Up! made. If you haven't seen it, you need to go look at it. It's very cute. Okay. Whew. I'm so like dis disoriented and distracted. I think I need to move that over here so that I can see that. And oh, oh, oh. It's too much technology. I think I might just need to go back to the old fashioned way. <laughs> we will see. Okay, thank you for sharing. I see lots of you have shared and just in time for prizes. I have two winners from last week's shares, uh, Stephanie Payne and Betsy Cunningham. You each won a bundle. Um, I. If you'll message me your mailing address, please, I will get these out in the mail for you. Thank you for sharing my video. I do appreciate it. It helps me find new customers and that's always appreciated. All right, this week I've got three host stamp sets, a merry hello. I've got, I've got a bunch of these. <laughs> well, all the stuff I've ordered for um, the retreat and everything, I've got a lot of host rewards. So I ordered a bunch of these. 
And I want to give three of them away today. So all you have to do to enter is share. Share on, on Facebook. And I would appreciate it. Okay. Oh, and, and if you comment shared, that would be better. Because sometimes if I click on the shares link, I can't see everybody who has. So just type in the comments that you shared. That way I can count you. Okay. Are we still looking good? Are we still clear? It's not, it's not pixelated. On mine, it looks pretty good. You know what the funny thing is, you guys? The funny thing is, I, I'm i distracted because I have this and this. This is the control center over here, and then this is where I need to look at you. That's going to have to change next week. Still working it out. The weird thing is, I figured out last week's digital problem was my camera, my phone. And my phone is a iPhone 11 Pro. Like, it should be the best one, right? I have this old phone that is my daughter's old phone, and it's a 7, iPhone 7, and it was the quality was way better. So it was something with my phone. I'm sure there's some settings. So if you know the settings that I need to change on my expensive fancy phone that doesn't seem to want to do its job, please let me know. Um, anyhow, okay, so today, today um, for Facebook Friday, we are going to make three projects using the quite curvy variety bundle. That's what they're calling it. It's a new release and there's four products. And I actually have them all here, so I'll just show them to you. This is a bundle called Quite Curvy. It'll be in the spring catalog in January, okay? So this is something you'll be able to get later on if you don't get it now. Um, however, the next part you can only get um, before, let me make sure I give you the right date, January 4th, okay? And it's the curvy Christmas stamp set. I really like it. Um, it's really, really cute. And I love the curved dies. They're really neat. That's really trendy right now. I see that a lot on Pinterest. So um, I have been using the heck out of this one in particular. So you can buy the bundle. You can buy this stamp set. You can also buy the designer series paper called Classic Christmas. I love this paper. I've showed this to you guys before. I love it because it's simple monochromatic patterns. It's shaded spruce, cherry cobbler, and crumb cake. And um, so let's say you use this on one card or four cards because it has four of each, but then you run out. You can also use this one because it's pretty much the same. And you can also use this one. So you, let's see if I come back. Am I back? Am I back? What happened, you guys? That was weird. Some, some say I'm gone. Some say I'm here. Refresh, refresh. Refresh what? You guys. We're going to go old school next week. I'm not dealing with this anymore. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is stressful. Joy back. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Where was I? I don't know. You can buy all four of this as a bundle, which is what I recommend, right? You save 10%. You get the both stamp sets, the dies that coordinate with both stamp sets, and that pack of awesome paper. All right, and the, all four of them are $70.50. All right, so there's that. All right, it said broadcast pause. So when you use this software, one of your devices over here streams it over to your computer, which is your computer is where you go live on the Facebook page. So that I could still see going, but this one seemed to have paused. <laughs> so I hit go again and it went, you guys, Next week, we're not doing this. I don't know, I can't handle it. Patricia, it is not on back order. I checked, It is the stamp set is not on back order anymore. All right, so my video is blurry. So you guys type in the comments if you can, that everybody needs to close it and open it again if they're frozen, all right? Not now, I don't wanna update, no, thank you. Okay, Facebook Friday, if I haven't lost you already. <laughs> Every week I make three projects and those projects are make and takes that I will send you for free with an online order by Monday at midnight, okay? Oh, let's see. I'm not even I'm not even switching around. Look, how's that? There I am. There I am. Two of me. I don't like that. There we go. <laughs> if you want these projects um mailed to you for free next week, all you have to do is put in an online order, online order um, by Monday at midnight, minimum $35 using the host code that you'll see down here. The host code is also on today's PDF, which is over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. 
And, uh, uh, you guys say it's, it's blurry. Okay. Let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute. Um, anyway, this PDF is free. Pinkbackery.com under the last photo, click on the link and you'll get the PDF. It has all the measurements and the products that I'm using today. Okay. If we ever get to stamp. Looks good, Rhonda, you're good? Okay, all right, let's switch back over and see. The make and takes look like this. I send them to you. You will need the stamps and the dies, all right? Um, I send you a little thank you tag. I don't send you any stamped images. You'll have to do that yourself, um, but you will get the um, everything that you need to make the projects that I show you, okay? Um, but again, you'll need that both stamp sets and the dies to make this project. Okay, looks good, who knows, clear and sharp, good. All right, well then we better get busy before it changes its mind. <sighs> All right, so today we are making three things, the boozy hot chocolate, I'm gonna make you guys wait, that's gonna be the last thing we make. We're gonna make this cute little Christmas card and this regular everyday card that could also be a Christmas card. Hi, Kimberly. Um, and then I cased the two things that are on, I almost said in the catalog, um, these two things are um, on the PDF. If you look at PDF, they're um, samples. I always start making uh, by casing whatever is on there. And um, the stamping area is not as clear. I wonder why that is, because it was clear before. All right, well, we're gonna deal with it today and then next week I'm not gonna do it. We'll go back to the old fashioned way, all right guys? Just hang with me today. And then if the video goes in and out and you can't see it, the clear recordings will be over on YouTube. All right. All right. So let's make this first card. If I can focus enough to get it done. Where I'm out of room. Ah, totally out of room. We'll just put it on the floor. Okay. So we're going to make this cute card. And I actually, this is the original one. May your days be merry and bright. And then when I made the clean recording video today, I used the other one, thinking of you at Christmas, but it's not quite as long, the banner, and I like the banner long and sticking out. So we're gonna do that this time. Um, notice I used two different sheets of that designer series paper, right? Two different sheets. So, um, but they both work, they both work. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna cut, we're gonna stamp. I'm like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> this is stressful. <sighs> okay, let me get a scratch piece of paper. Um, I have projects next week planned already. We're going to do the Merry Moose. Um, you guys remember the Merry Moose sold out last year like super fast. Um, but this year we're going to we're going to get it before it <laughs> sells out. Um, we're going to do Merry Moose next Friday. And then the Friday after that we're going to do um I can't remember um what it's called, the one that has the candles and the candy cane, sweetest time, maybe that's what it's called. Anyhow, um, Jill, I saw Jill is on here. Jill sent me a little something in the mail this week that she wanted me to make a box for. And I love that, thank you, Jill. It gave me something like, you know, I didn't have to think of something myself. And so um, I'm gonna show you how to make that box on next Friday the 20th, not, not, next week, the week after. Um, so on the 20th, I'll show you how to make a box to whatever size you need. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, so I stamped that in Cherry Cobbler, just on you know scrap of Whisper White. Then I've got this other piece of Whisper White, and we're gonna stamp these. The video has stopped again. Please don't tell me the video has stopped again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're gonna do the trees here in, um, I always wanna call this the wrong thing. Shaded sh shaded spruce, yes, I always wanna call it the wrong thing. All right, we're gonna stamp these like that. All right, and then we're gonna stamp the stars down here also. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it without the banner. Um, I like to put the banner there so I can see where I'm stamping it, but I think I think we can wing it. All right, so I'm gonna do this in Mango Melody. I'm gonna do it down like that, okay? All right, now we're gonna bring over the cut and emboss. I'm gonna call it the right thing this week. Thanks, Irene. <laughs> uh, it's funny how my brain cannot even function when I'm worrying about 
the quality of the video. I just, it's too much. I can't. It's weird because I can see it now. It was crystal clear earlier. You know, okay, so this is what I was thinking. My daughter just came home. I wonder if when she got online, you know, like it changed the bandwidth, you know, because she's using some of the internet. I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. All right, so anyhow, here's the die. This, this is the die that I love the most in that whole set. I used it on all three projects. It has a cutting edge. And then one edge does not cut. So you've got to put that cutting edge up or down, depending on which way you want it to go. So over here, I want it to cut the top edge of this little, what's going to be our banner. All right. And we're going to run that through. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. All right. So it didn't cut that off and that's okay. We didn't need it to. We're gonna cut it off ourselves in a minute. Now I'm gonna flip it so that the cutting edge is on the bottom. All right, like that. And see how it's gonna make that banner. And lay that down. Hey guys, by the way, I didn't wanna bring it up, but I'm going to. Our magnetic plate has, has some problems. Okay, it's bendy, it's bending, it's curling. Everybody's having problems with it. So Stampin' Up! has turned it off. You can't order it anymore. And they're gonna work on it. They're gonna, the quality control people are gonna work on it. And everybody who has bought it so far, you're gonna receive a coupon in November, a credit. Can you see me? Hello? Man, I better just go fast. The gremlins are out today. The gremlins are out. All right, I got all the little doodads and I'm gonna punch it with my Taylor Tag Punch. I like to use my Taylor Tag Punch for a banner end because I can see exactly where I'm punching. All right, see that, how I did that? Okay, now, for time's sake, since the gremlins are out and they want to steal our Facebook Friday, I probably am not gonna color all these trees. I'm just gonna go real fast. I'm gonna color them in with light shaded spruce. All right, you guys, somebody type to refresh if they're frozen. I had to just refresh mine. Yeah, I still got a red dot. I wonder why it's kicking me off. You know, 2020, I'll just, I'll just chalk it up to 2020. I mean, come on, come on, man. All right, now soft suede for the trunks. Just real light. Um, you know, this isn't real detailed. We're just adding a little bit of color to each one. And then Mango Melody. Do, 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 do. One thing that I um, really don't like about the software that I'm using is that it doesn't save the video to my phone. And it doesn't because uh, if I had glitches regular when I'm just using my phone, I, it would upload in HD and then would get rid of all those glitches. But this does not do that. Okay, dimensionals. And look at that. It fits right there. So cute. I could have done my stars a little bit lower. All right, so we're going to put this on a cherry cobbler. <laughs> Patricia says, I was just about to say 2020 syndrome. You know, have you seen that funny thing going on, on Facebook, the... Um, have we reached the point where we can just use 2020 as a cuss word, you know, like, ah, oh, 2020, or that's so 2020, you know, like, <laughs> because it's awful. It's awful, awful, awful. <sighs> we'll survive. We'll all be stronger come the end of whenever. Hopefully it's just 2020. Okay, so this paper, again, I'm going to use a different pattern. I will admit to you guys, this is my favorite pattern, but, you know. We gotta use the others too. So I, I use that one here. And this time, I think I'm gonna use that little crisscross pattern. Just to show you that you can use all the patterns. All right, let's cut some foam strips. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Denise. 
So those of you that are Stampin' Up! demonstrators, are you participating in On Stage at Home today and tomorrow? It's our, normally we all travel somewhere to go to it, and this year, again, 2020, we all have to do it from home. It's been pretty fun today, and it's been a great distraction from all the, you know, the junk that's on the TV right now. I cannot stand to turn the TV on right now. I just can't deal with any of it. Ah. <sighs> So it's been like perfect timing. We needed a distraction. All right, so I have used the cherry cobbler paper. I've used a shaded spruce um, card base. And last but not least, let's add a gold bow. This is the gold cord from the Wonder of the Season ribbon pack. All right, hi Sue, welcome. Welcome to Glitchy Facebook Friday. All right, and we're just gonna put that right there and done. So cute, right? So cute and pretty easy, I think. And let's look at all three of them. All three of them. Oh, Joy, you never got signed up. I'm sorry, friend. Next time, next time. All right, so what do you guys think? Right, if you were making these as Christmas cards, you could use that paper interchangeably. You don't have to have the same pattern for all three. Okay. There we go, we've got that done. So let's put those back there. We move everything off of here. And, uh-oh, my Bailey's is <laughs> rolling across the table for my last project. It, it thinks I'm in need of some Bailey's right now, which I probably, probably am. All right, let me clean off my space real quick and make room for everything else. Oh man place is a hot mess. All right, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this next card, I love this next card. We're going to make um, kind of an all occasion card using, you know, last time we used the Christmas stamp set. This time we're going to use the other stamp set, which I just put across the room. Oh my gosh, right here. So we use the, the Christmas now we use this, quite curvy. It looks like a Christmas card, doesn't it? Uh-oh, there's a dimensional back. It looks like a Christmas card, but it's not. It just says hello. It could be. You could change the sentiment and totally make it a Christmas card. Um, but I thought I wanted to use that more neutral color. Um, and uh, I thought that was cute, right? It has a little pop of color. All right, so let's get started on this one. Again, you can use any of the pieces. They're all the same. Um, they're all the same color, different patterns, but they all work. Let's see. I like the stars. Let's do the stars. Well, now let's do the stars. All right, so that's just four by five and a fourth on a thick whisper white. Um, <laughs> Cindy, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. All right, so four by five and a fourth on a thick whisper white card base. Now, we've got this piece, and where did my PDF go? Really, this piece is the only one, the measurement that uh, matters. This little piece is two and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. That's going to be our back piece, so I'm going to move that out of the way. Then you want to get two other pieces of Whisper White. Um, I wanted them to be bigger than this. See how they're bigger? I'm guessing these are three by five and a half, three by five and a half. It doesn't matter because we're going to cut them up, okay? We're going to leave one plain and the other one we're going to emboss. And this little embossing folder right here is from the Wrapped in Texture Embossing Folder Pack. Is that what we call it? There's two in there. There's two. And it was made um, to go into our mini cut and emboss machine, which still isn't available. They had suggested to us that maybe it would be available before the holidays, but it sounds like now that's not gonna happen. Again, hashtag COVID. Um, but anyhow, it works fine in your regular machine too. All right, so we're gonna emboss that white piece. I like that. Look at that little cross hash, I like it. Hello, come out. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna, when you emboss, you've gotta take that number two plate out. I'm gonna put it back in now because we're gonna use that same die if I haven't lost it. And I'm gonna run these through here at different, um, you know, different, what do you call it? Different 
locations of the this the curve you know this paper's curved and it's not laying down flat and i don't have the magnetic sheet so it's not holding it okay so there we go sandwich that in and we're just going to cut oh i didn't even check my cutting surface did i do it wrong i did but we can still use that look we'll use that see that's the thing that you got to remember with this stuff look for the cutting edge put the cutting edge up top Make sure you're cutting it on the right side. We're gonna cut just little strips of this and each one, um, we're gonna move the die to the left, to the right, in the middle. Joy, this would be a good Christmas card, wouldn't it? And we're just gonna go all the way down so that we have three or four pieces. And then we're gonna do the other one. Oh, that one's almost straight across. Let's see, we did that. Let's do one like that. All right. All right, now we've got those four. We're gonna do the same thing. Um, Elaine, I've used my other magnetic plate in the new boss before I got the new magnetic plate. So the, the, the new magnetic plate, I like it a lot. The first, you know, few times, but then it starts to curve because it's, it's like a magnet sheet, which is brilliant, right? So then the magnets don't bounce around. But then for some reason, it started curling up and which would make sense with normal wear and tear. Um, however, it was happening pretty quickly, you know, like it should have stayed flat for longer. So that's the problem. It still works, um, but it is just, um, you know, you gotta flatten it out. There's been some workarounds online that people are doing, like taping it down to a platform, putting it on your old magnet plate, but that's completely against, I mean, that's, you know, the whole purpose, that defeats the whole purpose. So if Stamina Up's gonna fix it, it'll probably be a while, um, but those of you that have bought it, you'll receive a, coupon. All right, there, we've got all those pieces. All right, now, let me go back to my, I, I'm so worried it's going to go off again. I'm just watching over there to make sure. So get your, take your pick tool. This is the die brush attachment for the take your pick tool. Um, I added it to the supply list today. You'll see it. Look at that. <laughs> there were little dots on there, so it textured that piece when I cut it, but that's okay because, um, you know, it adds to the snow texture. All right, all these. So learn when you're doing this, sweep all the little dots off your plate before you cut because they will, they will emboss your piece. Um, Karen, you didn't find it as a, uh, that it was as strong as the other? Really? See, I thought it was pretty strong. Okay, let's start with, no, we're gonna save that little one for the bottom. Oh, I didn't get all the little dots out of that. All right, so I'm gonna put this starting up here. And then we're just gonna go through and layer these back and forth, okay? There's no wrong or right way to do this. You're just gonna kind of go down, switching between embossed and not embossed. And we need another embossed one. Oh, good. I'm glad to see, you're, you're glad to see I'm using it, good. It's fun, I like it. All right, one more down here. Okay, so now we had a couple left over. This is bigger than our base piece. Remember I said that base piece, you wanted that to be, um, whatever that measurement was. And the other ones, it didn't matter because now we're just gonna go and put this in our trimmer and trim it off so that it's even with the edge of that first one. Um, that way you could like turn it, you know, it could be a little bit wider so you could adjust it however you needed it or wanted it. And then you can just trim it off like that. All right, these, this uh, little die makes a mess. All these little 
dots. They're everywhere. Okay, let's come back over here. And where is my adhesive sheet? I'm gonna cut a big, it is a good winter card, Natalie, I thought so too. Not that we have winter here in South Texas, but <laughs> I can pretend. Okay, now we're gonna put that right in the middle of the dimensional. Then I have already cut out this little tree. Actually, let's do our bird first. Um, the bird, there are three birds in the stamp set, three or four, and we need memento. We're gonna stamp that little bird right there. And then let's get our light. Oh, I have paper all over me. I'm gonna do cherry cobbler. Now you, I think maybe if you change the color of your bird, it wouldn't look so Christmassy. I mean, there's a green tree, but it's just a tree, right? But when you put the red bird with it, it does make it look a little Christmassy. All right, now I'm gonna take the dark cherry cobbler like that, and we'll stamp the little hello and cherry cobbler. I've already cut out a crumb cake um, stitch so sweetly rectangle. It's the smallest one. And I'm going to stamp the hello on the, uh, on the stay right side. All right. So let's move those over and bring this guy back over here. And you know what? I'm going to clean off all of those little dots so that we don't have that happen here. Okay. We'll just turn it over. Dots can be on the back. Now the dies, We've got a die for each of the little birds. So let's see if we get the right die. This one right here. This is where the magnetic plate would come in. Nice and handy. Okay, hold your breath. Take that off. And get our little bird. And now we're ready to layer it up. Dimensionals, we will put our tree on with a dimensional. Are you guys still there? Yep, I dropped off again, I think. Hopefully we're back. Hopefully we're back. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give myself this boozy hot chocolate gift. I'm gonna gift it to myself today after this performance. <laughs> okay, linen thread, a tiny little linen thread bow, and you are done. You know, it's a how hot is it outside? Oh, it says 77. There's no way it's 77. Where are my San Antonio peeps? Denise, Nathan, are you there? It's got to be in the, at least the 80s today. It's hot in my office. When it's hot outside, it gets hot in my office. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. A little blue dot and done. So cute. So cute. All right, let's look at all three. Again, this paper is very interchangeable. I use three different, again, I'm partial to that one, but that's okay. The other ones are great too. I like the stars a lot. I like all three of those patterns. That's just my favorite. I used a different bird on the first one. The bird was looking to the left. This bird is looking to <sighs> And my back. Come on now. Come on. Come on, man. All right, you guys, are you there? Alexa, drop in on Ellie. Hey guys, Ellie, are you on the, on the internet? Uh, yeah, why? Well, I'm just having internet issues. I mean, you're doing school, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all right. I guess school's important. <laughs> Thank you. Alexa, hang up. <sighs> I guess it's just, I don't know. It shouldn't happen. It didn't happen before. I don't know. Okay, let's get through it. Let's go, go, go. Okay, boozy hot chocolate. If you guys have been around for a while, I did this. Well, that was weird. I did this treat a couple of years ago, um, and it was crazy. It was so fun. Um, these little test tubes we had in the paper pumpkin kits, and then I found this weird supplier online that had test tubes, and you had to order like a bunch. But anyway... 
this was really fun. And if you want to do this one with the test tubes, I have updated this blog post with test tubes on Amazon. Okay, so much easier to get them from Amazon than from the lab company I was ordering them from. Um, so if you wanted to do this one, there's a link on today's post back to the old one. Okay, however, Rita, I don't know if she's here today. She emailed me and she said, hey, I want to make this a little more COVID friendly. Could you come up with an idea you know, maybe not using the test tubes. You know, she was just kind of throwing around some ideas. And I thought that was brilliant. So um, that's what I did. Uh, you know, everybody's like germ, germ, germs, all that, right? So how about we make this where you don't have to open it and touch the stuff and put it in, right? Well, here you go. That's what I did. So it's a little bit bigger. And um, you know what, I'm gonna move this so I can just watch and make sure that when I drop off, I don't know that I've dropped off. And I, cause I know what button now to push. As soon as I drop off, I know what to push. So I'll be watching it over here. Okay, so here is our COVID friendly boozy hot chocolate. I have used a K cup and this is actually peppermint mocha. It's not hot chocolate, but you know, they make hot chocolate K cups as well. Um, a little Bailey's. You guys always ask about these. It's from the liquor store. <laughs> they have the little airplane bottles at all the liquor stores. Um, you can do Bailey's. You can do, this one has rum chata, whatever. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a real big boozy drinker, so I'm not real, real sure, <laughs> but I know Bailey's is good in hot chocolate. Um, so then the marshmallows was kind of the situation. There is, there used to be these mini bags of marshmallows and I cannot, find, oh good, Eileen Rita's with you, good. Um, I could have, I can't find those little bags of marshmallows anywhere. Um, but I had seen these um, on Facebook and I had actually, I'm not Facebook, on Amazon. I've actually ordered them before. So I ordered some more, they're called Smash Mellow and it's a marshmallow. And they're flavored. This one's cinnamon churro. I thought that would be pretty good. Um, and I bought these with, it says Halloween, but they're the exact same ones you get normally. So today on my blog, there's a link to these if you want to buy them. There's 30 of them in here. And so that's the marshmallow. And so nothing, everything's prepackaged. Nothing touches my fingers or anything um, on the inside. So I think that's pretty COVID friendly, don't you guys think? I think so. Um, I also found, I was, I mean, I... <laughs> I've been working on this for a while. I found these little hot chocolate mixes. Um, and I found that if I folded that and put that in there, you could do that. But I it covers that up. I didn't like that. So I'm going to stick with a K-cup. I kind of like the way that looks. You could make the back taller, but then you'd have to use two sheets of paper. So we're just going to stick with this. Okay, let's get started before we lose the internet again. Now, remember, all of the measurements are on today's PDF, which is right uh oh here it is right here okay the second page right here oh am i frozen again on mine i'm frozen oh no you know what i just haven't um refreshed myself okay so over there pinkbackradio.com you will find this no stop facebook stop 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 you will find this pdf under the last photo these are the measurements that you'll need okay all right so our piece of um Soft weight is eight and a half by 11. We're gonna score the long side at half an inch and two and a half, four and a half, and six and a half. Remember you guys, if, if this all fails and it goes sideways again, there's a clean recording of this over on YouTube. So if you wanna come back and make this, just go to my YouTube channel, it'll be there, it'll just be this project and it'll be much clearer. Okay, on the short side, one and a fourth by seven and a fourth. I have, the trouble I had with this is getting this size box from one sheet of cardstock. I really didn't want to bring in a second sheet. I wanted to keep it simple. So you'll see that the, um, on the sides, they are not, they, they overlap and they don't go to the edge, which is fine. Um, but if I wanted them, if I wanted, cause this is two inches and these, for those to be two inches, we'd need a 12 by 12 piece. Um, and that just creates problems for me because I can't order a pack of soft suede 12 by 12. 
to send you guys next week. So I wanted to make it fit eight and a half by 11 and most of us have eight and a half by 11 paper. Okay, but it works. All right, so now down here on this skinny little um, tab right here, we're gonna cut off those corners and cut that tab like that, all right? Carla, I knew you would like this. This is fun, right? And I have been obsessively, because Rita and I talked about this a few weeks ago, so now I've been obsessively checking all the stores and all the marshmallows and all the, you know, different K-cups and all the stuff. I wanted to I wanted to find some really creative stuff. Um, Michelle, marshmallow bits, the only, those come in a canister, but the thing is, I wanted it to be sealed. Like for COVID, I don't want somebody to get that and be like, oh, if she put those in there, Okay, now for the holes, for the holes, I am using some retired punches. I don't know why we retired our circle punches. I use them all the time, and I'm sure you guys have circle punches. If you don't, the layering circle dies will work just fine, okay? Um, <laughs> that's funny, Carla. All right, so what, depending on what little booze you get, you're gonna need to look and see, you know, like which it fits best in. This one fits best in the one and a half inch. Um, when I made this, the uh, the one and a half inch I used, but I think it's a little bit big for that. So I'm going to do that with a one and a fourth. This one, the K-cup needs one and three fourths. So in order to get those spaced out evenly, I'm going to punch some, some little templates, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, sealed is better. You know, we all have to find our own level of comfort with this nonsense, but um better to be safe and sorry especially if you're giving these as gifts you know all right now i'm gonna take these little this is just my little like template telling me where i'm going i'm going to punch um i want the this one the big one which is the k cup i want that there i want the marshmallow in oh come on the marshmallow in the middle and this um, did you use layering circle dies or the star dies? It sells so it says circle dies. Yeah, I use the circle dies. I listed the circle dies because the punches are retired. I listed circle dies because you can't only one of these punches you can order now, but the layering circles will be fine. Okay, so I've got them on there. I'll know exactly where to punch. Okay, so I'm going to punch. Because if you were to eyeball this, you might not, I think I'm gonna have to move that forward a little bit. Um, if you were to eyeball this, your circles might be wonky, right? They might be like um, uneven in the wrong place. Oops, why did I just take that off? There we go. And the last one is one and three fourths. There we go. There we go, okay? Okay, now. Um, the Stitch Stars dies. Paula, did I not add that to the PDF? The Stitch Stars dies? It's the Stitched Stars dies. All right, now you want to use a strong adhesive, of course. I'm going to use um, my Stampin' Seal Plus. And I'm going to roll this up and make it like a box on the side. See how that is? The thing is here, I found that I couldn't get it exactly where I wanted it without folding up the sides. And I know you guys can probably see my head sticking in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly stick it. And then, yeah, so I can already tell that's wrong. Fold these in, this will help you get it exactly where it needs to go. Fold those in and then it's square. All right, there we go. Now over here, fold these in. Let's get that squared away. There. Okay, now this back side looks really weird. You're going to be like, what in the world is that? We're going to cut it at an angle, okay? So we're going to fold these two little ones in, the top and the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on that one. Well, it looks like I went in a little bit farther than I should have. Let's try that again. Fold in. I want to stick my head in the camera, but then I don't. Okay. 
Hello, adhesive is on that one. There we go. Now I'm gonna put adhesive right here on this one. Fold that in like that. And last but not least, the front one. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing over here. A little bit of adhesive there. A little bit of adhesive there. Push that in. Once you get those sides right, you'll have everything right. Let's fold that in. And last but not least, I fold the front one in so we have a curved edge. All right, like that. So there's our main box. Now, super weird, right? It looks like a couch. Take your scissors, and we're gonna cut from that back corner to that front corner, okay? And right there. Now that looks better, doesn't it? So cute. Okay, now I've got two pieces of the paper. Again, I know I'm probably beating a dead horse with this, but you guys, you can use any patterns that you, you want in the package. It doesn't have to be the exact same ones as mine, or, you know, if you make a bunch of these, it doesn't have to be the exact same pattern on all of them. You can get a lot of use out of your paper that way. All right, so there, one in the back and one in the front. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. We're almost there, we're almost there, internet. Come on, stay with us. All right, where's my scratch paper? We're gonna do the exact same thing we did for that banner, all right? May your days be merry and bright in Cherry Cobbler on Whisper White. Then I'm gonna take those trees again. Hi, Brenda. I'm glad you caught me live too. All right, now for this, this is the piece that's gonna go on the top of our box. I'm gonna stamp those trees right across there like that. And one more time with that die. Bring over our cut and emboss machine. And let's do this piece first. Remember that cutting edge is only on one side. So this time I want the cutting edge on the bottom. I want the top edge to be straight. All right, there we go. And this time I didn't color in those trees. Keeping it simple. Okay, Brenda, you took off for on stage. How fun, how fun. I know, that's a good reason to take off. Okay, now this one, we're gonna do it the exact same way. Let's start with that cutting edge on the top and let's do that. Let's make it come down just a little bit. Hi, Teresa, you caught me live too, Oklahoma. Awesome. All right, now the cutting edge on the bottom. We're almost there. We're almost there, hopefully. We won't go out again. All right, Sue. Hi, Sue, it's good to see you. Sue sent me the cutest gift this week. So cute, it's gingham, buffalo check, I should say. She knows me. Sue is the one that gave me years ago that awesome little frame to put my dies on because she knows that I lose my dies all the time. <laughs> okay, now we need our tailored tag punch. Did I take it away? Did I move it? Where did it go? How many times during a Facebook Live do I say, where did it go? I feel like I say it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do. All right, punch, punch. And we need to get all those doodads out. There's quite a bit in here right now. And I'm gonna say it again. Where did it go? I don't know, that foam piece. Oh, right here. I'm out of whack. I'm in a different place. My table's turned sideways. Why mess with a good thing, huh? Why mess with a good thing? You just gotta stick with what we know. All right, get all those out. And now we'll put that on here with the star. Dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. I don't have any, so we're just gonna use the edge. Yeah, Jen, um, that punch is, that's not the intend, intended use for that punch, but 
it's awesome because you can see exactly where you're punching, right? Where you're punching that banner. Okay, we've got a big slath of dimensional shape there. Star and that. Now that other piece, I'm not gonna say it, but it's missing. Do y'all see it? Here it is, oh my gosh. Stuck to the bottom of my cut emboss machine. And I'm just going to stamp Merry Christmas right there. All right. There's some dots here, too. Let's see if we can get them out without using our foam. There we go. Now, we're going to put this on the back like that. And that's it. Now, you're going to put your your um, peppermint mocha or your hot chocolate. We're gonna put our marshmallow in the middle. And then whatever booze you like. And I, what I did here with this ribbon is I, this gorgeous um, ribbon matches that shaded spruce that's in the, that paper pack. I cut it diagonally so it's skinny. And I just tied a bow and put it there on the little Baileys. So cute and I think this is pretty easy, I think. You guys think? It's not too terribly difficult, is it? I could make several of these for all your friends and people who need boozy hot chocolate this year, which is probably all of us. <laughs> okay, you guys, we survived, barely, barely, with a glitchy screen, in and out, craziness. Don't worry, if you couldn't see what I was doing, my YouTube channel has clean recordings of all three projects. Next week, I'm not messing with this nonsense anymore. We're going back to old school way of doing Facebook Live, and it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Friday with some Merry Moose projects. Remember, if you want me to send you these for free, um, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight using this host code and um, all, over all orders over $35. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get Stampin' Rewards and I'll still send you the projects. All right, you guys. Thanks, Catherine. Have a great one. Bye.